Well, hello there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to this installment of Seven Minutes in the Morning. My name is... Oh, look, there it is, Tom Rigsby. <laughs> Your host for the next uh, seven-ish minutes or so. Grab a cup of coffee and uh, join me. And we'll try and wrap up the week on this edition of Free Coaching Friday. I'm going to get a little uh, extra shot out of my mug here. And then keep going. <clears throat> hey, if you are watching on Facebook, awesome. Glad that you are here. Go ahead and leave me a comment down there, even if you're watching after the fact or late. Um, go ahead and say hi or just wave or give it a thumbs up like Joe and Abby have done this morning. Thank you both for being here. If you are listening on your favorite podcast catcher, that's awesome too. Over on, uh, let's see, what is it? Uh, iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, any of those locations, you can find the show there also. But at some point, you got to come back over to Facebook, get in the conversation. The easiest way to find that, 7minutesinthemorning.com, will get you to the right place. All right, so it is Friday. That means it's Free Coaching Friday. So, um, buckle up, buttercup. So... This week we've been talking about, um, we start out the week talking about being busy and how being busy, you know, is not a good answer to how have things been. And we use that as a crutch and we let other people set the rules for us. Um, all of these things have been building up to kind of this crescendo that we'll get into today. If you are... Uh, and you might see it back there on the whiteboard. <laughs> Busy equals stress. Busy equals stress. If you've got a lot going on, that's going to require. I mean, it's it's physiological. It's not it's not a feelings thing. It's the way our body works. We can't avoid that. Now, some people will say, "Oh, Tom, you don't understand. I thrive on." On busy. I, I function better when I'm busy. No, you don't. You think you do because that's what you have trained your mind to expect. Now, the, the problem is, the problem is retraining the way you think, right? So here's, here's really, I mean, here, here's the, the guts of the whole problem. If we're busy, if you have 30 projects on your plate today, right? Let's make it easy. You have 12 projects on your plate today. There's only 24 hours in a day. The best you're going to be able to do is a couple of hours for each one. Is that really going to allow you to apply your best and highest effort to each one of those projects? No. It's just not. That's why, you know, one of the very first things, if you've listened to more than probably three of these shows, you've heard me say, you know, you can only have one priority. One priority a day. And I get pushback on that every time that I say it. Well, that's it's just, that doesn't work for me. You can only do one thing at a time. You, you can only give your best and highest effort to one thing at a time. Right. Go ahead and, and figure out what that is. The example I use all the time, if you get to the end of the day, you had these two things, two number one priorities had to get done today. You get to the end of the day. There's only five minutes left in the day. Both of them require 10 minutes to complete. You're going to pick one to do it. Well, that was really the priority all day long. You just didn't admit it. And then you stressed about it all day, trying to figure out how to get both of them done, wound up getting neither of them done until you're pressed into a corner. Go ahead and choose up front, this is the one. Now, here's the cool thing. After you finish that priority, you can pick another one. That's how we're tricking our brain into working for us, right? But you can't go around all day thinking, well, I've got two priorities. You gotta commit, be committed to that one priority. Now. Here's what that lets you do. You can apply the two no's to it. All right. One, you know what you have to get done. You choose, you've chosen that priority. That's the K-N-O-W. You know what you need to do. 
Now you apply the second no, N-O, say no to the things that prevent you from doing that. If somebody calls you up and says, hey, I need 10 minutes, like, nope, sorry, I've got this one priority I'm working on. As soon as I finish that, I, I can I can give you 10 minutes. Or maybe you can say, got this thing I'm working on, it's my priority today, I'll be done by 11, how about right after lunch? I just, you know, wh whatever the case may be. But don't, I mean, think about it in your own life. If your if your priority project today is only going, to, let's say it's going to take three hours, and you plan to get all three hours done in the morning, seven, eight, and nine, boom, got it knocked out, and I'm done by ten o'clock. And then you get a phone call. Hey, can you come look at this? Hey, can you come to this quick meeting? Well, I only need three hours, so yeah, I can jam a couple of things in here. Then you start derailing your thought process. You lose the leverage of accumulated momentum behind the project and before you know it, you get to the end of the day you're not done that's where busy allowing those little interruptions to to come in that's where busy creates stress because you're still stressed about getting the big project done and you're just not able to focus on it so no k-n-o-w know what you want to get done and no n-o to the things that get in your way right don't just like we said earlier this week, right? The people that are going to, but successful people are the rule breakers, right? Don't let other people manage your calendar. Say no. Now, that's a hard thing for a lot of people to do. They don't want to say no. Well, what if I miss out on something? You'll, if it's important, you'll find out. If it's not, you won't. And you know what? It'll be okay. You won't miss it. So, there you go. K-N-O-W, know the outcome you're trying to create. Know what your priority is. And two, N-O, say no to the things that don't get you there. Going to go ahead and wrap it up for this week. I don't know. We've been, I think it's been a productive week. If you think this was good stuff this week, I'd appreciate hearing that in the comments. And getting a like on this video and share it out to your network so more people can join us. You know, I ran into to two people, yeah, two people yesterday that say, oh, I listen to the show all the time. Great. You should leave a comment every once in a while. <laughs> so if you've been listening, you're not leaving a comment, come on over and do that. I'll only call you out once. That's it. That's all. All right. Uh, if you're a guy, you're in the Huntsville area, 1130 today, the men of business at Terranova's love to have you there. All you got to do is show up and pay for lunch, your lunch, and, uh, I'll do the rest. The group actually will do the rest. I just get to sit there and enjoy being around you guys. All right. So, uh, if you need any more information about that, let me know. And one more thing, I'm going to put that back up there because I had some more questions about that. If you'd like to get in on the Fast Five program, that's five steps to start creating the results you desire. You can go pick that up. That's free on the website, tomrigsby.com slash fast and the number five, Fast Five. That will get you there. Okay, that's it for this week. You guys have a great weekend, and I'll talk to you again on Monday. Take care.